Alright, we're back with more Factorio because, well, I just need to get this game beat. And fast, because it's that kind of game that just consumes you whole, right? I was thinking about a lot, thinking about this game a lot through the night with my limited amount of sleep. So yeah, let's let's get back to it. We're back to Spaghetti Junction under. Da, 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 where are we here? A rocket. We've got one goal. We launch a rocket and everything is good to go. So, how do we leave it all? Also, I'm trusting everything looks and sounds okay. I moved all my uh, all the game's music to an audio player outside of the game because, well, I don't like hanging around waiting for the music to play. It always makes me nervous. So we had a few problems that we needed to solve. Uh, is there any way to pause the game? Probably not. A uh, severe lack of coal was the main problem. We have almost dug up all this coal and the production is just too slow for our operations here in Spaghettiville. So we found uh, half a million odd... Oh, hang on, what's this? Uh, whatever it is, it's got one of our turrets already out of ammo, so that's not good. That's really not good. Well, puts me to work already. Fortunately, I am made of gun. So what, are they just going to keep on coming from this thing until I destroy it? I mean, that can be arranged. Such is what you get, Xeno scum. Alright. So yeah, you already took quite a bit of damage. Uh, telling me that I should probably make a repair pack. Have some ammo. I'm already producing tons of it back home. So how about that repair pack? How do I use you? Left mouse button something when you have it on hand. Alright, there we go. So I can get you both repaired up. Easy. Very easy. I can probably fix my own car with that. Nice. Not that it really needed it. Okay, a few things to do. Right, first off, research. What am I meant to be even researching here? Don't think I need plastics. I probably don't need efficient research practices because I'm locked down on resources more than anything. Trains can slow down faster, so they can go faster. Anything requiring three bits of uh, three different kinds of research is beyond me anyway, so uh, shotgun shells can't go wrong there. I need to get back into how all this works again. How am I looking for my coal? Tons of it too. Oh my, you're actually full. That's a little bit hilarious to me. How does it work again? All right, enter too. Well, enter. I guess that was the attack that I was told was coming earlier, and I guess that would have been a bit more serious if I hadn't set up massive defenses. So, I want all my coal, I want to bring it all back. Bring it all back, just to keep everything running for a bit longer back home. And then when that is the case, wow, you really can't see Jack when it's dark. Can't wait to have some good train lines to follow later on. Whew. Slowed down just in the nick of time there. If you're going to hit anything when you're driving a car, in real life that is, don't make it a tree. They're so firmly rooted, odds are they're going to cleave your car in half more than you tearing them down. Best case scenario, it's mutual destruction. I'm at the wrong place here. Hang on, are they all actually working? Yeah, yeah they are. Good. And yeah, I know, I know what to do there, Max. Don't you worry, girly. The worrying comes later. Oh, that's right. I need to actually drive my car up there. Ooh, I kind of like this part. <laughs> Alright, ooh. Uh, okay, out we get. I need to grab all the coal I can and say... Take half of it. 
You take another half of it, kind of. There we go. So, coal aplenty. Now, what I'm going to do is head back, and hopefully this will keep everything running, is head back and build my, uh, my awesome new train stuff. Which I also need to learn how to make. I am suddenly feeling very glad about how we... Uh, Made all those guns to take care of Xeno Scum. So if I keep the trees around, will they reduce pollution? Is the message here to not just destroy all trees? Alright, we're back here. Now, let's figure this out a wee bit. What do I have to do? That's what the tutorial is here to help us out with. Build a horizontal rail. Roger. Uh. I. Uh. Okay. Uh, build a curved rail using the rail planner. Press left mouse button on an existing piece of rail. Then... Uh, okay. Uh, press left mouse button on an existing piece of rail. Curvy. We can actually have curves in this, that's pretty advanced. Living trees absorb pollution up to a point, then they turn into dead trees. Do trees proliferate at all? Build a rail with the rail planner. Use the rail planner to build over the ghosts. Q will stop rail planning. You're telling me these are ghosts? Uh, that was not what we want. I keep thinking what I need to do is hold, but... Okay, that's easier than I thought. Oh, this is going to be terribly frustrating for anybody that's good at Factoria or Open Trail, uh, Open Transport Tycoon. Alright, locomotive is down, let's give it some fuel. Enter the train. Oh, I wish it wasn't enter. Number pad enter works great. Let's just move it up to there so I can hit that with my thumb. Or, 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 or. Got a great idea. Aye, aye, aye. Um, hmm. Yes. Man, I should get a refund on that uh, on that laser eye surgery. Where is enter? There we go.
Oh, there's also the case that I'm muting myself by uh, using that button there. Don't worry, I was just giggling to myself at this. Hmm. I wonder what happens if you kill yourself in a tutorial. Also, no train would take a corner that fast. That's just asking to die. Excellent. How about schedules and train stops? Oh dear. Okay. The goal of this tutorial is to show you how to use train stops and schedules to set up transportation of ore between mines and furnaces. Good, that's exactly what I want to do right now. Build the train stop at the indicated position. Which one? Okay. Build the locomotive on the train stop. Give it some fuel, I guess. No? Don't like that? Fuel the thing up, of course. Oh, no, okay. I must use an inserter. Fair enough. Yes. Build cargo wagon for it, of course. Oh, this is going to get interesting. And let's fill that bad boy up. Add station A to the train schedule. With oh dear, oh dear. This sounds dangerous. Um, add station A to the train schedule with the inventory empty weight condition. You gonna tell me how to even do any of that stuff? Alright, schedule. Add station A with the inventory empty. Make it automatic. Unload the iron ore from the cargo wagon and feed it into the furnaces. Nice furnaces. Steel furnaces. I need to make me some of those. So many things I need, but I just want to have my place operational hands off for a while. Currently, that can't happen because I'm too coal dependent on a coal shortage. So basically, I should have it like that. So we have some fast inserters throwing them in. And then they can put it. I like this stuff. Add station B to the train schedule. Add B inventory fool. So you're going to go to B until you are fool. What a fool. I mean, this seems very simple stuff. And I guess if I had one rails, one locomotive rules here, everything would be easy peasy. Hmm. Okay, how about some rail signals? Trains might crash if there are no say- oh yeah, I know all about that. 
Now that there are, now that there are some signals on the track, trains will not collide. Each signal breaks up the track into blocks. And the color of the signal shows whether there's a train in the block. Build another signal to allow the train to pass through. Err... Uh, where? I mean, if I put it here, then it'll know this block is empty. You know, this kind of visualization would be very good for a transport tycoon if you think about it as blocks. Build signals to allow the red train to proceed. Well, this one's kind of full, so how about we put it there? Build signals to allow the red train to proceed. Build train. Uh, okay, so you're occupying that then. That was a bit too simplistic. Let's have some advanced stuff. The chain signal is the second type of rail signal. They've read the next signals in the path and can change their state of core. Okay. Okay. The blue chain signal, this must be the chain signal, right? And this is just a regular signal. The blue signal means that only some of the paths are open. One of the signals is red. The train can pass a blue signal if the path to its destination is open. Hmm. Fascinating. Just fascinating. In this situation, the chain signal is blue because not all paths are open. The train will wait at a blue signal because the path is not open. I mean, I guess it wants to go here, right? Uh, why can't it just go here? Is it because it really wants to go here? Uh, maybe. Red means it's all blocked. In this situation, the second cyan train blocks the intersection. Da 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 da. Okay. All seems very basic stuff. Building chain signals before the intersection will prevent trains from entering the block unless the exit is also clear. Why would you not just have a regular signal though instead of having these chain signals? I'm sure there's a good reason, I just don't know what it is. I mean, you'll, you'll get here. Hmm. Build signals to allow the red train to get to its destination. Mm. Oh, there was another train there. <laughs> Forget that then. That only checks for that. Hmm. 
Just run it with nothing. That asshole just takes up the whole place. But if you are here, you'll check for people coming that way. If you're here, you'll check for it going that way. Uh, hmm. Oh, what, that's an option? Oh, 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 oh. Hmm. Still want to try that again. If you weren't there at all, then you just do that. Otherwise, it just comes on in. But without that there, and with this here, no, that that doesn't work there. But for some reason, it works here. I don't understand at all. Why is that red anyway? Ah, it's red. Because his destination is here and it's blocked. I guess. Yeah, because it looks what's beyond here, I think. Because a regular one goes, all right, it's all clear, boss. But this one looks one forward and goes, I ah, know it's not clear, boss. Abort, abort. Alright, I think I understand that. I'd like to know why you stop, though. It's green, it's green, it's all looking real green for you. Then I run you, and then you're red. Why would you be red? Well, let's just... Man, that's how I'd make my trains. Hmm. I think in terms of the blocks, Jake. I'm trying. I'm trying real hard. It counts these all as one. Ah, so all, ah, yes, all this is contained by these guys. Okay. What if I were to do this? They both, oh, because I split the blocks. Mm -mm. Man, I'm impressed with myself. All right. Going to be graduating from uh, Transport Tycoon University at this rate. Hmm. Build signals to allow the red trains to get to their stations. So basically, we don't have to care about these ones whatsoever. You just need to get there, and you need to get there. Okay. <laughs> and this is all being seen as one big block. So what if we broke up the block? Oh, 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 oh. It's almost too good. Get out of our blocks. Interesting, but I'm sure there's a better way to do it. I mean, 
that's just useless. All that tells you is what's between there and there. But then these guys don't move at all, but I mean, he's blocked off by there and there. Whew. That seems pretty bad, actually. Hmm. Interesting. Build signals to allow the red trains to get to there. Whew. My greatest challenge yet. Red train is here. Red train is here, so they need to go along. Da 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 da. So he's gonna come along. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. And get to here probably because it's red. All right, looks great. Just run it. <laughs> no path. What do you mean no path? Because you can just go do do do. And then you get your ass over to there, right? I never remember which side they're meant to be on for when you, where you look at them. So you always look at them on your right. Alright, good enough. Let's run those trains. It says no path, but it's just not trying hard enough. Alright, so something I'm fundamentally not getting here. See that again. What is your major malfunction? Well, I mean, you got there now, you think there's no path. You both think there's no path. Well, I really don't understand this. Don't be afraid to replace signals, Jake. I'm not afraid, but... Okay, for example, why is that signal even there? What does it do? It should all just be one nice swoop. Same with you. Who needs signals anyway? Hell, who needs signals altogether? I think this is the real way forward. Go! Why is this guy not moving? What's so difficult? Ah. Maybe, maybe one. We're getting better.
Okay, that's, that's clearly not working out so good. Hey, we got all our real signals though, if we just pick them up. Hmm. Man, I just fundamentally do not get real signals, and I wish I did. How do they work? I feel like you should have something that tells you where to go. How does this end up as one thing rather than two things? Hmm. C space says chain to enter a block, regular to leave. Eh. I mean, to that extent, you'd think you should have the chains there and there. Beautiful. What's the problem here? The problem is that you keep going that way when you really shouldn't. Why are you even going there? Hmm. I'll solve this eventually. Alright, so your problem is you get blocked there and you get blocked there, but why would you be blocked here? Why can't you go here? And now there's no path, but there is a path. Look at it. Why is there no path? Green light, your, well, your choice of green lights, I guess. Green light, meaning you can go. Green, green. Hmm. No path. The rail signal makes the bottom left track left directional. The rail signal at the bottom track. Oh wait, no, which rail signal? There's a few of them. Look, it is very simple. The only difference between chain and block, let's see, that is, that is chain, and these are block. Chain signals detect the block signal up ahead and show the same color. Other than that, chain signals just act like, oh man, this is tricky stuff. The arrows when placing signals shows which way the train is allowed to move. So yeah, you can move forward. You can move through either of these.
aren't you just a bundle of fun? There we go. I don't actually understand how that works. So let's reset it and figure it out. Wish there was a way to pause it as it goes along. Right, this is the one that does the majority of the moving. Looking green. Oh, looking red. Better slow down. Goes green. Da da da. Uh, chain signal when entering intersection is the main rule, Jake. Wait, that's not you entering. No, that is you entering an intersection. So if I always had that... I mean, that's what I like. Simple rules. And if I'd just been told, hey, use a chain before going into an intersection, easy peasy. But man, I don't know why I have so much trouble with trains. I played with train sets so much as a kid. I mean, you didn't need to worry about doing signals for them, because you could just pick them up and go whoosh. Hmm. All right, let's reset it and see if I can remember it. I don't know what purpose all these periodic sig uh, signals do. I mean, it's probably good practice to have them littered about, but when entering an intersection, eat one of those. Pretty good rule, I guess. Also, I need to remember which is which. Chain before. So what do I call this? Rail? Chain signal before intersection. That seems like something I should write down in my wee notebook. I'll actually put that together. Making railways. What's it called again? Rail chain signal. Before intersection. Right, I think I've leveled up a bit there. Jake, some of the signals there are redundant. The game is trying to make it slightly more complex than it needs to be. That gives me an idea. I know that one was useful. Not all of them then. Okay, but we managed to nail it, right? Build so <laughs> Okay, it just gets better and better. Okay, well, let's just let's just be incredibly dumb and follow the rule that we just figured. When you enter an intersection, eat one of those. Da 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 da. -da, -da. Well, which direction do you even go? Looks great to me. Let's just run the damn thing. Doesn't like it. Doesn't like it one bit.
intersection you can't go other ways or is that not the way to think about it wants to do is go along here. Why is that so difficult? It says no, there's no route. And uh well What about that? Now you're clear, now you're clear, now you should be clear, right? No, it's always not going to be clear because that's blocked. Is there anything I can do to actually make you go there? No, because this is all always red because it says the next bit is going to be blocked. I further divided it up. No, because again, the next one's just red. What if I grabbed you, split this a bit further? Actually, go green. Hmm. Doesn't blue mean there is a way? But there's clearly not a way because it's completely blocked for you. So why is it showing blue? Hmm. Okay, reset everything. I should be able to do this again without any trouble. And if I just smack you down there... And that blocks you off. Blue on a chain signal means there are two paths ahead, one red, one green. Oh, okay. Well, I, I guess I kind of get that. Does that mean we're done training? <laughs> okay. Uh, ghost rail planning. How to use the ghost mode of the right now? I think we got everything we need to know. Or do we? Might as well have a gander. Build sh. What's that? Shift and left mouse. Hmm. 
Build curved ghost rail. I mean, is this just telling me hold shift? Cool. Very cool. Almost too cool. How deep does it go? Press R or Shift R while ghosting to rotate the direction of the ending piece. Oh. doing anything but whatever Fake one. No, just just fake. You worry, girly. We got it sorted. Force the plan through the trees and rocks. Hold shift while ghost planning. Sure. Scared of all this nonsense. Oh, there we are. What, you got a problem with the way I plan game? Perfect. You've finished the tutorial, you're free to keep experimenting with the. Yep. Don't worry, we've got it sorted. Alright, good. Have I learned anything? Absolutely not. And I still understand that I am horrifically short on coal and many things. At least there's loads of coal for these guys to dig up. I'm happy about that. Okay, I've forgotten why I came over here. I think I need to build a railway. Do I have a locomotive? No, I have a lot of engines, but no mo no locomotives. I can make a chemical plant as well. Boiler, steam engine. Here we go. One locomotive and one cargo wagon. I'm going to need both. But I'm also going to need to uh, make a whole bunch of... Uh, of railways back home. Is it telling me to use the planner? I feel like that's the message here. Hmm. Might want to check what you need for two stations and a handful of both signals, Jake. 
Ah, uh, I can pick those up back home. Uh, for now, I can just drive the thing manually. Alright. I forgot how long a pilgrimage this is. It's alright, straight is good. Girly, we're not scared of these trees. is so much fun. Alright, so we'll have you come to a lovely stop-ish here. And we're going to link you right back up into that. Looks good. Looks great. I hope there's enough space for unloading all the coal that I'm going to want. Also, I can't see anything anymore. I feel like I'm researching a bit too fast. So we get you here, and then I'm going to start unloading coal so it feeds back into the start point. I'll probably have the coal loop up and go in here so it splits between everything I need uh, perfectly. No, relatively perfectly. Yeah, I know I still need to place it manually, but I wanted to make sure it was going to work out just right. Uh. 